Well, how y'all are this afternoon? This is your buddy George Jones over at the Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on, hey, let's try out some new ammo. Uh, I was dying for an opportunity to shoot 20 rounds of carbine ammo. The other day I was out at Knob Creek Gun Range and I found this. Monarch 30 caliber carbine. Now, I don't know how, how they come to get this ammunition, but it says down here on the thing, distributed by Academy Limited, Monarch. So apparently Monarch is an Academy Sports branded ammunition. I have no idea where it's made. We're looking at it here to figure it out. And it says made in Serbia. Well, who else is made in Serbia? So let's open it up and take a look at the ammunition, see what it looks like. So it's apparently been purchased at Academy and somebody traded it in with a gun. That's how we come to have it. And it's very nice looking 110 grain uh, ball ammunition, very nicely packed and in individual dividers in the thing. Um, this box of ammunition cost me Thirty-four ninety-eight, thirty-five bucks uh, for fifty rounds. I, I'm pretty sure this was originally purchased at Academy. So I'm going to do. We're going to do a little ammunition marksmanship performance comparison between this and three known brands of ammunition, which is going to be. 1960 manufactured uh, GI ball. It's going to be the known caliber cartridge of Aguila, which is made in Mexico. It's very nice stuff. And Hornady Frontier cartridges. 110 grain, full metal jacket. All right, keep the magazine separated with the boxes it came with. And we'll, we've got four targets up down there at 20 yards, and I'm going to give them a trawl, a try, and then we're going to go down there and look at them. And we're going to start out with 1960 production GI ball ammunition, which is a little on the grubby side. And I'm going to shoot it at the middle target and see where we get with it. Safe, yeah. Uh oh. Now what? Oh, apparently that cartridge is weak and didn't cycle very good. All right, whenever you have a problem like this, you always inspect the bore. Make sure that you're open. Look down the barrel, make sure there ain't nothing in there. Okay. All right. I mean, it's like 70 year old ammo. You know. Clear. All right. Uh, we know a wheel is good. Let's try it for comparison. Aguila will be on the left-hand side target.
clear. There. Next is Frontier Cartridge. I don't know how old that box of ammo is, but it's all marked Frontier on the base. Some of it looks a little dark. Feels like more than five. I'm gonna shoot five. Bottom target, frontier. Than that. Oh, work, so I put it back in the right box. And then finally, the Monarch on the right hand target. See how it shoots? Look at the head stamp on that right quick and see if we can figure out where it was made, who made it. PPU, I can tell you right now from experience, if PPU manufactured this ammo, it's good. All right, let's give it a try anyway. In for a penny, in for a pound. Every time you pull the trigger on this thing, it costs a buck. I ain't hit it yet. Can't miss that. Nope, there's one in there. That's empty. This carbine mag, one of these carbine mags has got a M2 follower in it. You see that? How it's flat on the end? A regular carbine mag has a tapered follower so it'll glide back shut again. Somehow or another, I wound up with one of these magazines. I think this is one of the Korean ones that uh, it's got an M2 follower and it locks back. All right, let's go back and take a look at the marksmanship, see how we fire-tated and shot a fight. Let's get up, turn that around there. Take it down here, we've got the new Pixel camera where you use, Pixel, Pixel phone camera thing, using it. They all seem to shoot pretty good. The GI ball has the widest, biggest group. The uh, Hornady and Aguila both look pretty good. And then here's our new round. One, two, three, four, five. So I have the double whammy of ammunition that shoots pretty good and a carbine that shoots pretty good. I'm a lucky boy. So if you saw Monarch ammunition and you had a 30 caliber carbine, or even a 30 caliber carbine pistol, there's still a few of those floating around. Uh, it would be probably a little better than everything else because my rifle shoots really good, and uh, or this one does, and. Uh, this ammunition is very consistent with it. You saw how the GI ball shot and uh, and how the Hornady shot and how the Aguila shot. The Aguila is probably 
right there with the uh, Monarch PPU. Uh, that's at 20 yards. If you've got a carbine Z road at 20 yards, you've got a carbine Z road at 150 yards. It's basically, what it comes down to. Uh, I think it's a very successful test, and it proved the Monarch Academy Sports brand PPU ammo uh, to be. And PPU is very good ammo anyway. I prefer PPU in obsolete cartridges and M2 ball. You know, they make a M1 rifle only ammunition that comes in a little 20 round box and it's, it's uh, marked for M1 rifle. It's uh, their version or their loading of M2 ball. Uh, it is exemplary. I like it better than GI M2 ball. Uh, their ammunition is very good. Their eight millimeter Mauser ball is is excellent. Their their seven millimeter Mauser, their 7.62 by 54, their 7.62 by everything. Their Carcano ammunition and everything they make that you can get imported into the country, you know, is good. It's I think it's one of the best foreign-made ammunition. The best foreign-made ammunition you can get. Let's put it that way. My opinion. Which ain't worth much. All right, there you go. Like, take, share, fire, commentate, and subscribe. Uh, leave me a dollar in the Patreon buck if you want to. And if you don't, well, I'll leave the light on for you anyway. What's the old boy you say? Leave the last string out and the dog's tied up. <laughs> uh God bless America, and God bless each and every one of us. Uh, I'll see you when I see you. Bye now.